Well, in Australia, we've had a tradition of school curriculum very much focused on Europe. It's Eurocentric. Our children aren't learning about the Asian region. For example, in history, the majority of students at year 12 are still learning German history and Russian history. Only 2% of students in a recent study were choosing to study Chinese history, and that's a problem for us. Asia Literacy helps all young Australians make sense of their world. It's about understanding the histories, the geographies, literatures, cultures and languages of our closest neighbours, the countries of the Asian region. Well, imagine a 21st century world if you didn't have some understanding of your closest neighbours. We need to resolve global issues with our neighbours, environment issues, health issues, people movement. We need to be able to speak the languages of our region. We need to understand where our neighbours are coming from. So with Asian languages, only 5.4% of children in year 12 in Australia today are studying an Asian language. Mm. We've got about a 95% dropout rate before children reach year 12 and the majority of, of students studying it at that pre-university level are background speakers. So most students in the world now study two languages. In many countries of the world, in Finland, Sweden, the Netherlands, Malaysia, students are trilingual. We've only got about 10% of students in Australia studying a second language and we have to ask ourselves is that going to position us well for the 21st century, the interconnected century?